Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how to make progress bars in Notion and this is a really useful tool if you want to display numerical values. So let's get started. We'll first start by going to an empty Notion page and you're welcome to follow along in your own Notion pages. So in order to make a progress bar, we first need a database. So we're just going to go with a table view database so you can look at it easily. So let's go ahead and type slash database and we'll choose database inline and we'll just call this sample database. And now in order to make a progress bar, we need a number property. So we're going to click the plus sign here and then we're going to search for number and we get this number property. So once you get this number property, you can choose from just showing it as a number, you can choose to show it as a bar and to show it as a ring. And to make a progress bar, you'll want to choose the bar. And once you choose the bar, you have the option to choose the color in all of Notion's colorways, and you can choose what number it's divided by and whether or not you're going to show the number. So as an example, we're just going to put a number here, such as 20, and it's already in this progress bar out of 100. And if we want to edit the property, we click edit property. And then now, for example, if we wanted to divide this number by 200, you'll see different views at the progress bar. The other thing you'll want to know is that the number format can be changed. And for example, if you wanted to show as percent, you could click percent. If you wanted to show as dollar, you can do that as well. And all of these other currencies that you can choose from. So another tip for progress bars is that when you make a progress bar, oftentimes you want to set the divide by number yourself. And if you want to do that, you'll want to make another number property and then a formula. So if we go and put this back to number and we put it back to number like this and we click the plus sign here and we add another number property. And let's say this is the number, for example, if we're reading a book and we wanted to add pages, there's 200 pages in the book. Let's say pages here. And here there is your bookmark. Then we can add another property here, which is formula. And we can edit the formula and we can do the bookmark divided by pages and done. And then now we can choose to display this as a progress bar like so. And we can even choose to show this as a percent. So now you can see that you're 10% done with this book and you could even, let's say you got to 200, then you're 100% done. So this is a really useful way to use formulas with progress bars. And although we're talking about progress bars, we just wanted to show you that you can also show this same view as a ring. So this is what you need to do if you want it into a progress ring. And you can change colors as we mentioned before, like this, depending on your needs and whether or not you show the number. So that's the basics of how to use progress bars with Notion. We hope that this was useful for you and feel free to let us know if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.